Now we're gonna move on from one Giga Chad Alpha Male to an even stronger, more powerful Giga Chad Alpha Male. Hey, Brandon, Where's my weapon? Where's my Woo! weapon? Woo! Let's go! We're dropping Dong in the first five seconds. Oh, nowhere. What am I brandishing? That. I will burn this boat. What do you mean, where's your weapon? Your weapon's down there. You showed everyone your weapon, man. What the fuck? To the ground. <clears throat> I lost my friends. My friends are dead. My friends are dead. Oh, my friends are dead. Bo -ba -do -do -ba. When the cops in Palm Coast, Florida, receive a call about a man exhibiting strange behavior, they couldn't have ever anticipated what they were about to encounter. On October 24th, 2000. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit, bro. Jesus Christ, damn, that's cool as shit. Yo, it's Florida. Oh, shit, it's Florida. What a surprise, dude. Average Florida man. 2023, the Flagler County Sheriff's Office dispatch received a call from a man reporting a bizarre scene unfolding in front of his house. How can I help you? Yeah, so I'm on Wedgwood Lane in Palm Coast, and there's somebody walking up and down the street here. No shirt, blue shorts, totally intoxicated. No shirt, blue shorts. Like what? Bro's from Boston. With his girlfriend or wife or whatever it may be, kind of giving her attitude. Okay, and what is he doing? Oh, right With now. With the double chunk chocolate no, cookie. He staggering in somebody's front lawn because he picked up their dog poop after he almost fell down and threw <sighs> it at the house. And now he's back over there looking for it. He was arguing with the girl. They have a dog with a dog walker, and he threw it on the street a minute ago, and they <clears> had a little bit of an argument going on, and he just can't even walk. He's just staggering around the streets over there. Police head out to the location to deal with what sounds like a simple case of a drunken individual causing a scene, completely unaware of the ridiculousness they're about to face. What's going on? Let's do it. Let's come. Oh, yo, hold up, huh? Dude, cops show up. Let's do it, guys. Let's come. Everybody gets in a circle to start to York in it. Come on. Walk your dog home. <laughs> Walk your dog home. Yeah, you guys are Why are you acting like no, this right now? No, I'm being surrounded, so what do you want me to act like? What's going on, sir? Yeah, I think he's drunk. Sir? Walk away. What's Let's go. What's happening? Oh, I, I, I'm throwing shit. I'm being disruptive to the neighborhood. You know what it is? I'm not a justice hey, of the thing. Hey. Stop. No, come Stop, on. Bro. Come on. If you come at me, I'm swinging. <clears throat> I give a about your right. If you want to put me down, put me down. We don't want to put you down. Come at me. We want to talk to you. That. Talk about what? What's going on? Exactly. <laughs> what do you want to talk to me about? I'm asking you right now. What do you want to talk okay. to me about? Sorry. You. We got She said she wants to talk to me. What do you want to we talk to call. me about? We just want to make sure you're okay. What's what's going I'm on? I'm perfectly fine. So I'm asking you, what do you want to talk to me about? I just explained it to you. Let's go. Let's go. Thank Come you, on. Ready? Come on. If you're taking me down, I'm <laughs> I ain't going willingly. This shirtless individual. <laughs> I ain't going willingly. I ain't going willingly. Like willingly? I ain't going willingly. I swear to God. is 40 year old <laughs> Sean Madden. And even as John Madden, like the football guy, fiance pleads with him in the background. He seems perfectly ready to throw down. Yeah, the tattoos say it all. Uh, dude, honestly, anyone with tribal tattoos is just uh, like an instant red flag. You know what I mean? Down with officers. Can you listen to me? No, Come I don't. On. I'm you telling you, you right now, I ain't taking it because I did nothing wrong. That dude right Sorry. there is calling. What? Why? Because I was walking what? Sean, I already have a charge. He was walking what? Not need to do this. Charge me. Charge me. Why are you acting like this, man? Because you're coming at me. I'm because trying to talk drunk. to you, and I explain. Walk away. Ma'am, ma'am. Let's talk to him. Take your dog. Walk away. We're supposed to be getting married. Charge me. Oh. This just got a whole lot deeper. They're getting married in three days, bro. Oh, this is this just turned into a very depressing situation. Oh no! Charge me! Charge me! Go ahead. You see, you got to charge on me. Are you his girlfriend or wife or something? Charge okay. me! Can you walk over? To you want to charge me? Go ahead. So we can just talk. To no you. one wants to charge you. No, no. He said he's got to charge on me. He's gonna, he's gonna charge on you? He's gonna, he's gonna come on, uh, come on, come on, you, he's gonna charge. You, you charge on me, I've broken the law, 
game. Go ahead. Serve the law. Serve the law. You he said, wants to get served? Broken the law. Pulls out basketball, fucking breaks his ankles. You are going to serve the law. Go ahead. Let's go. What, what Let's go. go. What kind Let's go. Of Come at me. Let's what go. the fuck? Right here. Hands up. I give a f hey, what? He's got He's got cauliflower ears. We're not going hands on with that. No, that's bull. Oh, dude. Yeah, that, all right. That smart cop. Smart cop. He's like, he got cauliflower ear. You know, let's not fuck with him. Yeah, you know, that explains a lot. Tribal tattoos. He got the cauliflower ear. That explains a lot. Cauliflower ears. Yeah, cauliflower ears are normally from people who do like UFC fighting and uh, boxing. Uh, or maybe he just bar fights a lot. Uh, he's he, basically he fights. He's a dude who fights regularly. Bullsh that's a, I don't have cauliflower. What the f are you talking about, bro? Why are you doing this? You're living you're, in you're the You're making a deal, man. There doesn't Why have to be a deal. You can walk home after this. I said to walk home. Drunk. F that. I give a f though. Come on. Let's go. <clears throat> what got you all upset today? No one wants Everybody to be fight. Right here. 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 God, I go to them. I ain't saying. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. We got a call. Dude, he really wants to go. But you were disruptive in the neighborhood. All right. He has a tribal tat that's plus ten strength, plus five agility. Walking no, and no now. So Drugs and roid rage. He bro, bros, just, dude. Any UFC fighter drunk is just like scary. I had a friend. God damn, dude, how do I have a friend that connects to so much shit? There's always a friend that I that I used to have that connects to this shit. I had a friend that was a UFC fighter, right? And he was the same way. And his friends are the same way. Because whenever he got drunk, he always like, come on, let's fight. Let's go. Like, come on, fucking go. Like, put him up. Let's fight. Let's do it. Like, every time. Every time he gets drunk. He always wants to fight someone. And then he ends up just like, like, like beating the shit out of a pillow or some shit. He's like, yo, watch the shit, man. I'll fuck this shit up right now. Let's go. And it starts fucking punching random shit. Like, I, I don't know what, what the connection is with dudes who like fight and getting drunk, but they always, they always just want to punch someone. Exactly. Maybe not all of them. You know I mean, yeah. Maybe not all of them. Some of them are probably fine, but you know, a lot of them. We got call it. You were brain damage. Yeah, true. Up dog crap oh, I picked up dogs okay. from a dog. Okay. Okay. Exactly. And then you I don't know. You threw it. Okay, so that's threw where. Threw where? Where? Know, what know. address? Give me the address. Because he said the same. Okay. What address? Now, Who called other than that motherfucker standing right there? Now, where? Right. Where? Now because you carry four, on. four, four cop cars. Come on. How much you had to drink this? Two. I don't give a f so listen, no, let's go. Let's right, go. Right. I'm swinging right. on everybody. I did s wrong. What's going on, bud? <laughs> Yo, when did Gramps get here? When did Santa Claus come in? What's going on, buddy? Why don't you take a Why don't you take a, a little seat on my lap, but we could. Talk this one out, buddy. Pokes him on the nose. Well, you got to believe in yourself in order to cop down. You all right, little guy? <laughs> I just imagine fucking Santa Claus walking out here. <laughs> oh, you better calm down or I'm going to put you on the naughty list. What's going on? Nah, let's <laughs> that. Yeah. Let's what's, talk about it. What's going Can we on, talk buddy? About it for what? What the f you do? What do? <clears throat> What the man does next completely shocks and baffles the officers. Hey, Brandon, where's my weapon? Where's my uh, weapon? Well, he shows uh, that's his weapon. He's showing it right now. Starts helicoptering. Where's my weapon? Oh, Nowhere. What am I brandishing? What did I do? Go ahead. That's yeah. three charges. Three for what? For what did I do? Well, you can't just pull down your pants in the middle of the road, bud. Oh, really? But yet, four people can roll up on me and hold their hand behind their back and act like they're gonna f f do violence to me and I can't do shit. Take me down. Hey, I appreciate that. That's the that's the way to go, bro. That's the way to go. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. I did not expect him 
to actually give up. You know, kudos, you know, honestly, drunk as shit, he's fucking weirdo, but kudos to that guy for not swinging on them. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Go here, I'm serious. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no f you. It's okay, man. It's okay. We're yeah. gonna figure it out. I watched it. It's okay, man. No, it ain't. It, it ain't. It's it gonna ain't. be alright. How many times has it happened to you? What? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you leave the country? Where'd you say I will give my life? What? I went to Iraq, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, is he talking about army? Um, <clears throat> yeah. And why does this happen to me? I don't know. I don't know exactly. what's going what on. Exactly. What did I do? What did I do? We're going to tell you. Exactly. Oh. What law did I break? Calm down. Because I walked oh. with my oh. dead dog. Stop. Stop. Get the stop. 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 You need to stop. But you stop. stop. I, I will f***ing fight. Stop. I don't want you, you know, to fight. You I need to stop. Wanna... I Listen, will we don't want to fight you, bud. This guy is this... lost, yeah. Is this PTSD? No, I think it's just a drunk dude who fights. It's not PTSD. Bro's just drunk. That's all it is. Listen, I know you're going through some shit. Is that a monster okay. energy tattoo? You, Where? Not, all I see is a nipple. Is it with us? <laughs> Buddy, yeah, I didn't do shit. You're I didn't do us. shit. Okay. I didn't do shit. I walk into my damn okay. neighborhood. Okay. What did I do? Dude, I, I, I love this other guy, like, just talking. Pig, stop looking. I can't. All right? I just love how this other officer is like, hey, come on, buddy. Come on, champ. Buck, buck her up, buddy. Come on. You got this, bro. It's okay. Dude. Okay. No, f that, f that. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Exactly. Get me the car. Gives him a little kiss on the cheek. It's all right. Come on. It's okay, buddy. Kisses him on the forehead. And, oh, it's okay. Come on, buddy. It's all right. Yeah, just because it, you're being angled. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Exactly. You want to fight me? I know. No, you we don't want to fight. We don't, don't, don't want to fight. Yeah, we don't I don't want to fight. I want to fight now. We don't I want to fight. We don't want to fight. I don't give a shit. You're going to walk with me. We don't want to All right, never mind. He's not going. He's not He's not going quietly, guys. We don't want to fight you, bud. Uh, do not want to fight you. Uh, okay. Okay, we don't want to fight you. Can you stop? Uh, all right, get me up. Take me to jail. Okay, are you done, though, fighting me? Yes. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. If You're you not going to resist anymore, huh? What the f*** was I resisting? Throwing sh Because yeah. that's the crime I did tonight. It's not... It's not, it's not even the I thought he was going with peace. Oh Me too. God. God. Are you done? Are you done? I can't. Are you done? How am I gonna be good? I didn't say good. Are you done? What the f is done mean? Me? Are you done fighting? Yeah. Okay. All right. Come on. Let's get up. Here we go. Come on, champ. As he just wanted to be pinned down. There's play Sean in the squad car. They're approached by witnesses who provide potential explanations for Sean's bizarre behavior. I'm his mother-in-law, or soon to be mother-in-law. Uh, was he drinking at the house or what? Yes, what, he what was. Something? Yeah, okay. he was drinking. You got some PTSD stuff going on? He does on? have PTSD yeah. going on. He yeah, was a vet, he's a veteran. Yeah, I can tell. He was served him. But what, so drinking is triggering the PTSD? <laughs> Throw, what, what, I, I'm kind of confused how PTSD lumps into this. Like he just like he he just drank alcohol. I guess the the alcohol triggered it somehow. But all like all he was doing was just getting angry and throwing shit. Maybe we don't let him drink. Yeah, the brand is complicated. Well, yeah, dudes will do anything except go to therapy. I mean, to be fair, they don't really uh uh help veterans much when it comes to a lot of this shit. Alcoholism usually occurs in people with PTSD. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. But I mean, yeah, it, it's it's mainly because they do not provide much support or any support for uh, mental help whenever uh, someone comes back from something like that. And that's why so many people struggle with PTSD because they never actually try to fix it. They don't do anything to fix it. They say, hey, come fight for us in the war and we'll tell you that you're a great hero and you're amazing and you'll do awesome and we'll pay for everything. Oh, what's that? You're done fighting? Fuck you, we don't give a shit. Now you're just stuck with a bunch of trauma the rest of your life and you have to deal with it. Oh, what? You need help from what we made you do? Pfft. Quit being a bitch, all right? Quit crying about it. That That's exactly how the country treats that shit. Yeah, you're no longer useful to us, so we're not going to help you. Yep. Over in Iraq, he's no, just a lot of... Pants down. If they knew he had PTSD, why let him drink to the point of drunk? I don't really think uh, you can control someone from doing that. You ever dealt with an alcoholic? 
Uh, like I literally know someone who's an alcoholic who lives with their parents and literally if their parents happen to go do something, they will sneak out, go get drunk. And then like they always find a way, you know what I mean? Like they find a way, like you can't just stop someone from doing it. I'm in the middle of the road. I need some Is pig woke? <sighs> I didn't want to get exposed like this. Right. I am a wokey, guys. I am a woken. Yeah, you could tell he's strong. <laughs> yeah, he has a lot of PTS going on. I've, I've never I, drinking with he's him. He's like never. This. He he has never. We were. They're getting never married. Acted like and this. they're. Yeah, he's going to jail today. <laughs> there, there's no ends if he's definitely going to jail for <laughs> resisting. <laughs> That's all right. Just leave him in yeah, here. He's he was assaulting the, the deputies. Yeah. Trying to fight us. I, he pulled his I, pants down, I, and everybody I, was outside watching. <laughs> He, he pulls his pants down outside. on the regular as a joke. Yeah. That's normal? That, that, uh, are you are you implying that that's just a normal thing he does? Ah, guys, look! It's my penis! What? What kind of joke is that? That's not a joke. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, you can't well, do that in the middle of the road. Right, I, I don't even know why anybody called the police. <gasps> they, they were arguing at the road. We I guess were arguing. The road. They weren't arguing. He did. And I then didn't he really... grabbed feces, allegedly. He was stoned no. in the house. Can I tell you, mm -hmm. I didn't even see what happened. He picked up my dog's poop. I asked him where the bag was. He said he threw it. I said, can you go get it, please? He looked. Apparently, he couldn't find it. He wasn't throwing feces at the house. He was... He's drunker than I've ever seen him. Yeah. Right. We were talking about, we were He's planning really our wedding. He's not a bad wedding. guy, I promise. Yeah. And they're getting married. Yeah, but once you start doing uh, yeah. things in front of cops, I, it's, a, it's a problem. I, I, I understand that. I, yeah, I understand. And we, we treated, we right. treated him with the utmost I'm sure you did. Civility. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. Okay. I just don't know. So he just wants to force. fight we someone. We didn't tase him. Listen, right. he was about this fat close to getting to take him to take him to at this point, Sean, left alone in the back of the cruiser and overcome with emotion, starts doing something incredibly disturbing. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's get forward. Sean with his wrist behind him while in the back. Okay, he surprisingly didn't gash his head open. Okay. The cuffs were originally placed on Sean with his wrist behind him. I honestly thought he would, like, gash his head open from doing that. <laughs> While in the back of the squad car, however, Sean managed to move them to his front side, which isn't ideal positioning. It also seems that he should have been secured by a seatbelt or restraining system so he wouldn't be able to bang his head against the seat in front of him. Sean, Sean, you think if you talk to him, he'll call him? Sean, Sean, Sean. The woman shouldn't be allowed to enter the vehicle as she just had. Yeah, did did she just fucking? This jump gives in her there? the opportunity to drive off in the squad car should she choose to. While Sean is locked in the back row of the vehicle, his door could be unlocked, and access to the officer's weapons could also potentially be unlocked from this position. In the they need to pad up the back seat. To be honest, yeah, I agree. Like we already watched someone actually like. Uh, crack their head open from slamming their head into the car, the back of the seat. Before. Driver's seat. Sean, <clears throat> Sean, Sean Ed, please, please. A little less than halfway. Yep. Is David Jim Thank you, lethargic. Sean, Sean, Sean. Nonsense. I need to do shit. I walked around the damn neighborhood. Okay. That's good. What the fuck? I didn't want to comply. No, that's no. Sean, 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 not only just, not only for slamming his head, but bro is obviously going through it right now. This is just kind of sad. Yeah, it's it's starting, it's getting more and more sad as time goes on. It started out as dude flashing his, his cock at the cops, and now it's turning into a veteran who has extreme PTSD, who uh, uh, had an episode and a uh, very rough situation, and now he's slamming his head. Yeah, this is, yeah, is rough. Is actually really rough. You think she still married him? Well, that's the thing. I don't even like personally. I don't think he's 
like a bad guy. Like th this does not represent him as a person, I don't think. Like, honestly, it, it genuinely just looks like a drunk dude who's mentally going through it. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't seem like a awful person. He just seems like he's going through some shit right now. You know, I'd like to see him talk to the cops sober. Same. But you never know. I don't know. Maybe he's not a good person, but it, it's it's hard to tell. Take me to jail. Take me. I don't think he would have surrendered if he was a total idiot. Yeah. I feel like that was a good indicator that um, he had at least enough sense to realize he shouldn't fight the cops. I mean, he did fight for a little bit, but it was after he was cuffed. Why are the cops called originally? Because he was in the middle of the road uh, yelling shirtless uh, and throwing dog shit, I guess. And the neighbors called the jail. Realizing Sean is too upset and agitated to remain at the scene, an officer climbs into the cruiser to drive him to the jail while other officers remain with the witnesses. I promise you, once he sobers up, it's going to be, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I don't know what I was doing. I know that. I should have brought them home, though. I... Wait, how is it her fault? Wait, why Why is she saying it's her fault? That's what I don't understand. We were waiting so that he didn't have Did we call him 1015? She, she has Wait everything else as far as the charges that we witnessed. I'm kind of confused. Um, they're not cop friendly at all in the gray shirt. They're what? Not cop friendly laughing at all. Laughing now. Nope. I was Seriously. trying to um, <clears throat> get a statement saying that his actions. As the officers discuss witness statements, deal with the gawking neighbors, and try to comfort Sean's family, Sean continues to be ornery and combative in the back seat of the squad car. I don't consent to medical assistance. Oh. Okay, you don't have to have medical assistance. So if you want to take me to the hospital, I, I do not consent. Okay, no problem, sir. I just don't want you to bang your head, okay? No, I'm not. I'm telling you right now, I don't want, I don't want to go to the hospital. I'm going to take hospital. you right to the, we're going to go right to the jail, okay? You're good. Can you tell me the law I broke? Of Throw and poop? Well, it wasn't the during the poop. No, no, I'm just, I'm just saying because like I just want to know when I talk to my friends that are also cops. I just want to know so I can have an understanding. Well, that's what sucks. Is like not gonna lie, uh, the neighbors kind of fuck all of their situation because really he didn't do anything illegal. Uh, uh, throwing dog shit isn't illegal, like because he was throwing it into his yard out of anger or something. He didn't do anything illegal, but once the cops showed up, then he did stuff that was illegal. Then he pulled down his pants. Then uh, he started. Uh, uh, I, honestly, if he didn't pull down his pants, he probably would be fine. You know, I mean, maybe I guess disorderly conduct because he's like uh, drunk and like screaming. But I, I, I don't even I think if he didn't pull down his pants, he probably would have been fine. Or if he just like didn't. Uh, uh, be aggressive with the cops. <clears throat> cops' presence definitely aggravated the situation. Exactly. I, I think if the cops never showed up, it probably would have solved itself. You know? But, uh, and then the neighbors were laughing. Yeah, honestly, fuck the neighbors. Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, like, if you see a drunk dude in the middle of the road, it's concerning. But, like, I don't know. I, I I deal with shitty neighbors, right? I know how shitty neighbors are. Fuck neighbors. Neighbors suck and they and they always try to be in other people's business when it's not their problem. You know what I mean? And I feel like this is one of those situations. But who knows? I mean, obviously I wasn't there. I don't know like how bad it got or anything, but it seems like the neighbors are just assholes, to be honest. What my legal So as of right now? Uh uh Yeah, go ahead. What it was is like I said, we got called for hold on, I'm sorry. for throwing poop is what I heard. Yeah, it was for throwing poop, I guess. And there was like, you. Got oh, OK, so you are arresting me for throwing poop. No, you're not getting arrested for that. Oh, uh, it's, it's for what? Resisting arrest? Well, resisting. OK, where where? When I said I didn't want to be detained. Yeah. Oh, uh, who wants to be detained? I'm just no, curious. Listen. I understand you have PTSD and we want to have Nah, the f don't come in with my issues. Don't come in with my issues. No, 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 no. No, no, stop. I'm trying to help you. No, you're not. 
No, you're not. You're trying to talk to me about f***ing it. Nah. Listen, when we got Shut, nah, I'm done. Protecting. Wow. Yep. That sounds like someone who does not want to take care of his issues whatsoever. That sounds exactly like a man's man. Exactly like a man. Like, no, nah, no, we're not talking about my issues. I don't have problems. No, nope, we're not talking about it. Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. I don't want to talk about it. Anytime a man's man has mental issues, they don't want to talk about it with anybody. They don't want to get help. They don't because that's the stigma. That's the stigma behind men. It's gay and it's effeminate and it's weak to get mental help. It's weak to have mental issues and get help for it because that's how men are fucking a lot of men, not all men. That's how a lot of men are raised is it's weak to feel emotions. It's weak to have mental issues. It's ridiculous. It's the male ego. It's how they're raised, dude. And he was in the military. So that that doubles down on the toxic uh, masculinity stuff. We're like, it, it, the thing is, is toxic masculinity isn't even just like directed towards women. Toxic masculinity is directed towards men too. Like it's that idea that you, that you shouldn't feel emotions. You shouldn't get mental help. Uh, you need to push all of your emotions down and never feel anything, right? Because that's gay. That's weakness. It's showing that you have emotions. And then men get mentally fucked up and then don't want to talk about it. And then shit like this happens. You know what I mean? It doesn't get talked about enough either. Exactly. And you want to know why it doesn't get talked about enough? It's because the uh, uh, I'm a lot of times conservative side is like that. They believe that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be alpha. You're supposed to be sigma. You're supposed to not show emotion. You're supposed to not be a pussy, right? Because like that side thinks that's the correct way to live life. So it's never going to get taken care of completely. So many men run around with horrible mental issues that are unsolved because they don't want to get it checked out or they think it's uh, weak to get it checked out or they uh, funnel all of that emotional shit into anger because anger is the only emotion men are allowed to feel. You're serving, right? Yeah. What'd you protect tonight? Well, you know that this was not gonna happen if you What'd you protect home? tonight? I was gonna walk home tonight. I wasn't even gonna walk home. My mother-in-law was gonna drive me home. So what, you wanna hear me protect and serve. Protect and serve. I watch. The caller said. I watched my brothers die. And yet, f***ing protect and serve. This is what I do. Oh, and you're going to come in with a PTSD? Oh, shut the. F you said, I know you have PTSD. Oh, that's what you f***ing said. But yet, you're going to tell me. Protect and serve what? Damn, this okay, this has got really dark. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, he feels patronized. Yep. Oh, that's rough, dude. That is so rough. Oh my god. <clears throat> Ugh. Jesus Christ! I gotta skip the house. At which point the officer asks what should be a simple question. What's your first name? You reading the fing record. Is that the video? What? Are you helping me? I will help you. you nah, it's nonsense. Name. You're full of shit. Okay, don't tell me your name. Exactly. You guys had my name. I already told you about shit. my full name. I told you my social, all that shit. What's your full name, sir? Nah. Okay, you don't have to tell me. I don't need it. You're shit driving. Why shit be on the damn computer when you're driving? It's illegal. It doesn't seem that Florida has a statute prohibiting use of the mm. CAD system while the officer is en route. It may be that the department has a specific policy in place in regards to this type of matter. You know where the body cameras were for me? Nowhere. We just died. 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 You got shot, you died. What's the official charges? God, he is Jesus Christ. Oh, dude, this is rough, man. Wow, I did not think this would get this depressing. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, bro, is a point though? He does. He does. He 100% does. So, resisting arrest, sure. A decent exposure where? Pull your pants down and show your genitals. Oh, really? You guys are gonna try? That's, that's the type of people, okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I know I'm taking all of it to court. I hope we're all at court. I hope we're all at court. I he needs a shit ton of help. Yes. Yes. That's why, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people like did. There, there needs to be a program in place for people who come back from shit like this to get therapy for free. Like it is it should it literally should be mandatory. Like it, it 100 percent should be mandatory. It would solve so many fucking problems, man. So many. Can't wait for this unfold. Not the way, not not because I'm looking forward to this nonsense. I just want to make sure it's a process, like for everyone, everyone. Book me a John Doe. Book me a John Doe. You. If that's what you want, if that's what you want. Dude, what is this random guitar music coming in for? I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's bullshit. So you that's bullshit. You sat there where everybody else was and we talked about my name and you're telling me- Like an army detox into society? See, yeah, that's what I'm saying is like when you come back from the army, especially for so long, and they just throw you into society, you're just like supposed to figure it out yourself. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's it's crazy. Like, that that transition- Especially coming from something so horrific is just not normal, you know? That's not normal at all, especially when it comes to, like, PTSD. It's not, like, the human brain can't fucking handle that shit, you know? Me right now, you don't know my name? Find that. Fine. Book me as John f***ing Doe. I will accept that within my community. So I can't... Can you just tell me your name? Nah, no, that. What I'm done. I am done with. And his fiance even said she's never seen him this drunk before. So I really hope he gets the help he needs. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The, it must have been the PTSD brought on by like being very, very drunk. After being entered into the jail as a John Doe on multiple charges, including disorderly intoxication and assault on an officer, Sean was eventually released on a $2,000 bond. That's not bad. At the time of this video's release, his case is still pending, and he's due in court in January of 2024. As for the wedding, it appears it's still on, though it's been delayed until fall of 2024. That's not bad, though. 2000? Is he mewing? No, bro. Just he's he's you know, he's a he's a he's a fighter, MMA or boxing or some shit. He's a fighter, so he's he's got that chiseled jawline. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribe? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.